There once was a lake, and on the lake, a boat, and on the boat, some friends. And high, high, high up, above the lake, and the boat, and the friends, there was a cloud. This was no ordinary cloud, because this cloud had never seen a lake before, and at first was very happy to see this lake. The little cloud looked down on the calm blue water, and in it the cloud could see a reflection. There was the bottom of the boat, the faces of the friends, and the blue sky all around. But what is this? Right there, in the middle of the reflection, something darker and scary, something blocking out the blue sky, blocking the sun. What could it be? The cloud had never seen anything like it and began to be very frightened of the dark thing in the reflection in the middle of the lake. If only it had known that the dark thing was, of course, the little cloud itself. But it didn't know, and it was scared of what it didn't know. And so the cloud began to cry. Great big raindrop tears that splashed onto the lake the raindrops took away the reflection, and the cloud could no longer see the big dark thing, and the cloud was frightened all the more. It didn't know where it was, and it started to flash and thunder and blow this way and that way. This little cloud, of course, had never seen a storm before either, and all this thunder and lightning and waves and wind were more frightening than everything before. And when it seemed like the little cloud would just storm and rain and cry and thunder until it had nothing left, down in the little boat, way, way down, the cloud saw a face. A face the cloud had seen before. It was Jesus. You see, Jesus had made the cloud. He had set it in the sky and given it a reason to float. And that Jesus looked up into the sky at the cloud, and he saw the storm of fear and confusion. And Jesus said, quiet, be still. The little cloud heard the voice of Jesus and felt very silly for being so frightened and stopped all the thundering and rain dropping right away. The lake became calm and blue again, and as the little cloud looked down, it was not distracted by its own reflection anymore, because it was looking only at Jesus. The little cloud watched as Jesus turned to his friends in the boat and asked them, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? And the clouds saw how they wondered about Jesus. Who could he be if even the storm clouds would listen to his voice? It's good to wonder at Jesus, thought the cloud, beginning to wonder himself even more about all that Jesus could do and would do. Jesus loved his friends, even when they were afraid. And he wanted them to know that he could bring them peace, even in the middle of a storm. And as the boat, with Jesus and his friends, drifted across the lake, the little cloud thanked God that even a scary storm was no match for the sun. Let's pray about this. I'll say a couple words, and then you repeat after me, and we'll go back and forth. Dear Jesus, help us when we 
feel afraid. Remind us that you are bigger than anything we fear. Thank you for promising to be with us always. Amen.